deaths. The World Health Organization says this morning that the pandemic is not even close to being over. The worst is yet to come. I'm sorry to say that, but with this kind of environment and condition, we fear the worst. But new case numbers in Indiana have been decreasing since hitting a peak in late April. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan spoke with experts to find out why Indiana isn't seeing the same spike other states are struggling with tonight. Mike? Well, those people we spoke with acknowledge that Indiana has not been hit as hard as parts of the Northeast, in particular New York. But those states are now doing well, and experts believe some of their protocols could be mimicked here. We've seen the odds read the curves. If I had to make a bet on something. A COVID comeback. Something I would say we are going to have an increase in cases. With 31 states seeing a rise, Indiana is seemingly not one. That's why we need to take advantage of the sweet spot that we're in right now and go ahead and take some additional steps. Shandy Durth is the director of undergraduate epidemiology at IU's School of Public Health. I think Indiana following the staged approach and reopening really helped. And I think the fact that the, our stages were more spread out helped Indiana's numbers. Unlike Florida, where beaches became quickly packed and some fought against mask mandates, Dearth is hoping for one in Indiana. If you've got a mask on, it's, it's just a lot better. No justice, no peace. We didn't see a lot of outbreaks from the protest, but a lot of those people had a mask on. It's a consistent message and we probably need to remind our, our kids daily. Experts saying it starts with an example. If parents want their kids masked safely this school year, wear one yourself. And make it that this, this is going to help you and other people be stronger, and you liken it to things like a superhero. Kimball Richardson is a mental health counselor with Community Health. Teenagers and young adults have that kind of built-in sense of invincibility. With Vice President Mike Pence, saying younger Americans are a key demographic in the latest surges. <laughs> Some potentially coming to Indy events from far away. It's not like the virus has disappeared from Indiana and we're risking reintroducing the virus. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It's whether or not that person's going to go into a large crowd. Or how they react to their friends' poor habits. It's probably not the right thing to say, you should be wearing a mask. Okay, because people get defensive when they hear things like that. A simple, I would appreciate it if you would put a mask on, should suffice. Several states have begun slowing reopen plans or in some cases started backtracking. Shandy Deerth believes that if that were to happen here in Indiana, she would expect a partial reduction in bar limits, but not a full shutdown. Reporting the newsroom, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.